placenta is a flat and circular disc of blade like structure forms in the uterus during pregnancy. Functions of the placenta In all trimesters of pre pregnancy, the placenta plays a vital role and ensures that baby is delivered safely. It supplies adequate amount of nutrition and oxygen to the baby through umbilical cord. It filters the blood to excrete waste product it thus works as a kidney. It performs like lungs for the baby so it is helpful for the transmission of oxygen to the baby. Bio is turned into blood through placenta which later removes in the forms of urine. It prevents infection. It metabolizes food particles to enable the nutrition faster to the baby. It prevents baby inhaling the amniotic fluid and diffuses the oxygen into the blood by capturing it. It moves to the top of the uterus to keep the cervix open for the birth. The placenta secretes a large amount of female hormones to stop contraction before the delivery. Normal placenta. Normally it lies on the top of the uterus to keep the cervix open for the birth. Uterus is a female reproductive organ which is found in the pelvic region. The uterus consists of three layers. Endometrium is the inner lining of the uterus. Biometrium, it is medial muscular layer. Perimetrium, outer layer. Placenta previa. It is a condition in which placenta covers the internal cervical holes entirely or some part of it. It is also called low-lying placenta when placenta implants in the upper part of the uterine wall but can move in lower part in some cases. It can be classified into marginal, partial or complete. Complete previa. It occurs when the placenta completely covers the cervical os. Partial previa. When the placenta covers the cervix partially. Marginal previa. When the placenta covers just edge of the cervix but doesn't cover it. Mostly placenta doesn't affect it easily but in some circumstances it might be affected. Some cases can be solved and treated but some conditions some cases can be solved and treated but some conditions are worse and can't be resolved. Hypertension, trauma or injury in the abdomen, previous history or any placental issue. Multiple and increased priority, high maternal age, uterine surgery, using abusive drugs or substances, rupturing of premature amniotic sac, clotting, uterine fibroid and scarring, smoking, cocaine uses. Diagnostic signs and symptoms of placenta non-stop, mostly paleness, uncontrolled, bright red, bleeding is the only symptoms. Life-threatening hemorrhage need for seasoning delivery. Third trimester bleeding is important to be noted. Massive bleeding during delivery. Sometimes placental attachment in the uterine wall creates very severe complication for the maternal and baby's health during or after delivery. This attachment is classified into three grades. They are accreta, increta and percreta. Placenta accreta when chorionic villi attach deep down into the uterine wall but doesn't penetrate the myometrium. Placenta increta, chorionic villi penetrates into the muscular wall of the myometrium. Placenta percreta, chorionic villi penetrates through the myometrium and reach to the adjacent organs such as bladder. There are two most common problems are related to placenta, placenta previa and placenta abruption. Premature detachment of placenta from the uterine wall is called placental abruption. When it is risky, when placenta is lying low in the womb, there is greater risk that placenta covers all or some parts of the opening of the cervix.